Hello folks, uh, we have here today with us uh, Fahad Akbar and uh, we will have a brief chat with him regarding his journey here in Canada. So, thank you so much here Fahad. Can you start off a little bit about yourself first? Yes, so um, right now I'm a data scientist. Um, I started as a um, finance guy and then I uh, kind of turned things around on a thesis degree. And I consider that to be one of the most uh, greatest achievements this year because Honestly, um, uh, I love what I do, right? And this is the most important thing. And I feel myself lucky that I was able to do that. So that's kind of natural. So a little bit about where you started off from. So, uh, so when I came over here, I started as a as a night shift worker in Tim Hortons. Uh, I was I worked there about six months, and it was a very tough time. But then uh, there was only this one way to go, and that was to work hard. That took me like one and a half years to get into, you know, to, to the job that I was uh, looking for. Um, initially, even that period was hard, but uh, you know, when you realize that you have talent, you've got skills, and you keep polishing them, and you keep, uh, you know, sharpening your your assets, then um, eventually you'll uh, test the sky. So you had a CFA, right? You had done your CFA, right? Yes. So see, that's uh, another thing. Uh, although I did the CFA, but it's uh, you know it wasn't working for me. Uh, unfortunately, at the time when I came over here, that was the economic uh, downturn, and uh, the CFA was no good, especially if you had no experience. So there comes a situation, uh, you know, where you have to take a decision. So although I took a decision real late, like what I could have done is like I could have gone for something else instead of spending time in CFA that was not really fruitful. So, well, although I stick to it, but in the end, it did not really, really pay me to, or did not really pay, or did not really get me where I wanted to go. So, um, my suggestion would be to, you know, if you were unable to get a breakthrough, then think, you know, outside the box, think what else you like. You know, it's, it's a perfect opportunity to look for another avenue uh, that could work wonderfully. So, yeah, that's one of the, uh, you know, Kind of my takeaway is that if you're unable to find things in your own the previous field, but there's a certain price that you pay for that when you make a career shift, right? Well, the, you already made that decision when you came here to Canada, right? So now there's no looking back. So that's what I said. It's the perfect moment to you know to restart, or you know because at this place is is blessed. It it gives you all the opportunities, and you know the. You know, you only need to be consistent and you need to do work hard so yes there is a price but i think that you have already that's already in the back of your head in the back of your head because you're already here and you know that you have to start so so you're married you've got two kids you are managing a master's in analytics right now you're doing a full-time job as well it is tough right a little bit of inspiration for folks as to how you manage all of that see it's it's not possible without your active interest if you know again pursue something or go where would you like to go where do you enjoy right things that you really enjoy and that's another area that you have to explore like what do you really like to do i'm only able to i only able to do this because i have a deep interest in it like uh, you know i i think of data science when i sleep i think of data science when i work when i drive when i commute so that's the only way because if you're stuck somewhere where you know where things are not you know not you're not really comfortable, then it's it's very hard. So it's it's um, it's not about hard work. It's it's also you know you know finding that that love. So we'll have a more detailed session with you sometimes on data science. But at a very high level, uh, if somebody was to pursue data science, what would you recommend? Well, I guess um, uh, uh, to me. Coding is, uh, is, is, is the base point. Uh, if you do not know coding, you can't really be a, you know, can't really be a data scientist. There, there are softwares that are like, you know, user interface based, but they can just take you that much. But if you want to start, uh, then um, I would say there are a lot of um, resources available. You can start conceptually, but eventually you will, 
you will feel that, you know, without coding, without knowing R, Python, SQL, it's not much in there for you. Perfect. We're almost reaching our five minutes. This is supposed to be a five minutes interview. Thank you so much. We will My carry pleasure. forward sometime the game with you in a more detailed session. Awesome. Thank you. Bye bye.